Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hello, Washington, D.C. Hey, it's Alex again. Hey, Alex. What's going on? Hey, uh, I also had a question about uh, Adobe Acrobat. Uh, like, I paid my money, all of my money, for the, uh, like, uh, Acrobat 8 Professional. Wow. And I'm getting a, like, whenever I open it, I'm getting this serious error, cannot continue, and then when that closes, it's got a Windows error, messages popping up. Apparently, it's been all over the internet. I don't know. Have you heard about that? Or a way uh, to fix it? Have I heard about that specifically? No. However, I can tell you. Uh, no? I, I well, I haven't heard of that particular area uh, error because I haven't necessarily run into it. I've certainly run into issues with Adobe Acrobat, um, and I'm assuming you've installed all the updates and everything. Eight point one, I believe they're up to at this yep, point. Yep, it was the update that killed it. Really. Uh, do you have a chance then to roll back to just 8.0 despite any kind of uh, security Doesn't backtracking? Work. It was worse? Didn't work. The, 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 the way that you can roll back, uh, whenever you do that, it crashes. And it didn't keep working for me either. I can't uninstall you know, it and reinstall it. I have to ask. There are so many ways that you can edit and create PDFs. Why did you decide to go with Acrobat Professional? Not to take away from it, but is there a specific reason you wanted... Uh, yeah, because it came with CS3. Oh, okay. Well, well, yeah, that's good. I mean, that's how I ended up getting Acrobat Professional. I haven't run into that error necessarily. Are you on Vista? No, XP. Okay. Because um, I know that Adobe had installation issues uh, for some users who had user account control turned off. I was one of them. Uh, so it ended up being a pebcac problem exists between keyboard and chair in my case. I'm not saying that... That's your issue. Uh, but everybody else who's been talking about this particular problem uh, update, they obviously haven't figured out a solution? Yeah. Well, as far as I know, they haven't. But you, I don't know. You might have heard something. Uh, no. I'll certainly keep my eyes peeled. Uh, of course, I'm assuming you filed the bug with Adobe? Uh, yes, I did. You did. All right. And you were as detailed as humanly possible. Yes. Okay. Here's another. Wait. You're an XP. Oh, everybody else. Okay. So if you're on XP, yeah. something, and I don't know. I don't. I doubt this is going to work for you, but you might try running that program in compatibility mode. See if that makes any difference. I don't think it yeah. will. Uh, another thing you might go through is turning off uh, some extended options and just through a tr uh, process of troubleshooting. There may be a certain thing inside of. Uh, the Acrobat product uh, that is tripping it and, and causing it to crash. And I realize, again... I'm going to try your, your suggestion right now. I'm going to... Let's see. You're going to try compatibility mode? Yeah, it's what such a... It would, in the properties, right? Yeah, go to... This is how you go to compatibility mode. Uh, in the actual executable file, like the EXE, the original file, the program itself, right-click it, go to properties. Got it. And I believe it's under the compatibility tab. Yep, that's where I found it. Just and then now. under the compatibility tab, you can essentially run that binary uh, in compatibility mode, ba make it backwards compatible, or make the operating system at some level think the program is at, or think the, make the program believe the operating system is something different. So run the compatibility mode in either an earlier version of XP uh, compatibility or possibly even Windows 2000 compatibility. We've perished the thought. Uh, I've, I did uh, 2000. I've done that before. Sometimes it's worked. Sometimes it hasn't. I mean, Acrobat is a pretty complex product. Uh, so the the fact that you're running into errors does not surprise me in, in in the slightest. Are those errors informational at all? I mean, do they point you to a specific number in the error, or is it just a general I give up? I was first get like okay, wait. It started up now, and I get to the getting started with Adobe Acrobat portion then I can say, like, don't show this to start up. Then about a minute later, or maybe not even a minute later, I will get the error message that basically says, Acrobat has encountered a serious error and cannot continue. But it, that window, after it's gone, another one comes up from Windows and gives me a, just a RAM address that changes every single time I use the program. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, are you running 32-bit version of XP? 
Okay. Oh, here it is. Here's the error itself. A serious error has been detected in Adobe Acrobat 8 Professional cannot continue. Please reinstall the application and try again. Yikes. And then I go back, and that one closes. And then the Windows error comes up. It sounds like it's got it an access violation. Maybe a little bit less, yep. and it'll come up. The yeah. Windows error. I uh, it, it's it's likely an error that you're not the only person who's necessarily running into it. Um, so I've got Acrobat Professional, but of course it's on Vista, and I I have not personally run into uh, this particular problem. But which isn't to say that it doesn't exist. Obviously, um, you've tried reinstalling. You've tried yeah, rolling here's back. Here's the uh, Windows error. It, the instruction at O X. Right, it's a memory violation. It's either memory at zero X, blah blah blah. The right. memory cannot be written. Right, it's click it's, on OK to terminate the program. Yeah, it's it's the fact that the program's trying to write in in into a memory space that it's it can't. So it's a, it's either uh, an overflow of some kind or it's just it's just an access violation. Uh, in which case, I don't know if any compatibility yep. is, is necessarily going to stop it. It's, it's likely there's a bug in the patch uh, that's specifically related to some configuration inside of, of Adobe. You can't even get in to configure it, can you? Nope. Yeah, I don't like, know what to tell you. Go through, I believe there's some option to like reinstall or update the install, and it doesn't work. Like, you can't get there, it just crashes. Too. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you at, at this point, other than just kind of... Uh, hanging back and waiting for Adobe to address it, hopefully with a, a point update. Um, you know, uh, that's that's really honestly, it's sad. Uh, but if, if if Acrobat is the only one, actually, try try this. Um, does the Adobe Acrobat installer or the installer that you know you ran through when you installed the CS3 suite, um, does it allow you to change installation options in the Add or Remove Programs applet in the Control Panel? Try going, um, try going through that. I and it does. R removing you, 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 one for CS3. There's the one sort of uninstaller that I've noticed, and it lets you uh, just uninstall certain applications. It doesn't seem to want to let to me tweet. change any yeah. options. Because I was, I was hoping you'd be able to remove bits and pieces from Acrobat just to kind of through a process of elimination. Um, I don't know if there's any other way around it. You can't really start up the program in a in a safe mode. My suggestion is is keep watching those message boards. Uh, you know, s searching. I wouldn't search necessarily for that particular error, but finding out if anybody else has, has run into a similar situation, a similar problem. A quick Google search could probably turn something up. You're probably going to find a lot more activity inside of uh, forums. Uh, I doubt news groups than you would you know, just uh, just regular old people posting their blog. Uh, largely because forums are set yeah. up to, you know, have threaded conversations. That's my suggestion. Unfortunately, I don't have a specific answer or solution for you beyond what you may have already tried, but uh, hopefully someone else out there, if they haven't tried something like this before, uh, would know or have a better idea on how to troubleshoot a problem. I think you, at this point you look for more people who possibly hit the same situation or just wait it out, uh, wait for a, a fix. Sorry, Alex. Don't know what else to tell you. Sometimes, right. sometimes software just sucks. And that's that's the problem. That's what, you know. There's plenty of ways that you can edit PDFs and create PDFs, though. I mean, since you bought CS3, I'm assuming it's largely for Photoshop and the other programs. Uh, I'm not going to say that you know yep. you won't be able to use Adobe Acrobat, uh, the professional, the creator at tool at this point. But uh, you can put it on ice and, and maybe not worry about it too much uh, until a fix is, is made. If anybody else has any suggestions for Alex. By all means, you know, make the suggestions. This is an open community, a community at will. You can come and go as you please. Uh, you know, we're opening up the phone lines right now, 888 Perillo. And of course, uh, day or night, you can join us in our chat room. And Alex, where can they find us? Live.perillo.com. Oh, you succeeded. You succeeded. You have just gained three health points. <laughs> Yay.